Whatever happened to two-time NBA All-Star Isaiah Thomas? Thomas attended Curtis Senior High School in University Place, Washington. Thomas played on the varsity basketball team as a junior and averaged over 31 points per game. By the way, he was listed at 5'8", 170 pounds. And once his high school basketball career concluded, depending on the recruiting site you looked at, he was either a three-star or a four-star point guard. And according to Rivals.com, was the 14th best point guard in the entire class of 2008. Now, Thomas would go on to commit attend to play basketball at the University of Washington and would receive the blessing of former Husky star Nate Robinson to wear his number two jersey. So that is exactly what Thomas did. And in his first season, Thomas balled out, averaging over 15 points per game, almost three assists and three rebounds as a true freshman and would finish his first season with the Huskies as the Pac-10 freshman of the year. And as a sophomore for the Huskies, Thomas was even better. He averaged nearly 17 points per game, three assists and almost four rebounds and was selected first team all pack 10 and as a junior for the Huskies was just as incredible being named once again first team all pack 10 his junior season and also was among the final 10 candidates for the Bob Cousy award that season and on March of 2011 Thomas would forego his final year of college eligibility and declare for the NBA draft and with that said Thomas would be selected with the 60th overall pick the very last pick in the 2011 NBA draft to the Sacramento Kings talk about motivation and let me tell you Thomas took full advantage of this opportunity. I mean, the second he stepped on the hardwood with the Kings, Thomas was incredible. I mean, he balled out. I mean, in March of 2012, Thomas was named the Western Conference February Rookie of the Month after averaging over 12 points and four assists per game for the entire month of February. Oh, and by the way, no player before had ever gone on to win Rookie of the Month honors while being picked last in the NBA draft. It had just never been done. And by the end of his rookie season, Thomas was named to the NBA All-Rookie Second Team and finished seventh in NBA Rookie of the year voting. Now, Thomas was immensely popular in his three seasons in Sacramento. To say he was a fan favorite would be an understatement. I mean, he made frequent appearances at city council meetings during the whole King's relocation saga. But unfortunately, his time in Sacramento would come to an end when he was part of a sign and trade deal to the Phoenix Suns. And then the subsequent season, he'd be traded to the Boston Celtics for Marcus Thornton and a 2016 first round pick. And talk about fan favorite for the Celtics. He was beloved and he was incredible. He would go on to finish second in the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award voting. And I swear for the couple years he was there seemed to be the missing link needed to propel the Celtics to the playoffs every single year. I mean, he was just such a solid player and such a good guy on and off the court. But following his time with the Celtics, Thomas would become a bit of a journeyman in the NBA. Being traded to the Cavs, then the Lakers, signing with the Nuggets, signing with the Wizards, then being traded to the Clippers before unfortunately he was waived. He would then sign a 10-day contract with the Pelicans before ending up in the G League for the Grand Rapids Gold. He would then sign another 10-day contract with the Lakers, another 10-day contract with the Mavericks before ending up back with the Grand Rapids Gold. And then finally, last season would sign another 10-day contract, this time with the Hornets, and would be signed for the remainder of the season. But this year, he's still searching for his next opportunity. He's currently a free agent, and I really hope somebody gives him a chance.